The body provides the traction mechanism. In an infant, a bulging fontanelle is the most significant sign of increasing intracranial pressure. The body provides the traction mechanism. A child in Bryant's traction who's younger than age 3 or weighs less than 30 pounds 13.6 kilograms should have the buttocks slightly elevated and clear or the bed. The knees should be slightly flexed, and the legs should be extended at a right angle to the body. Certain hazards present increased risk of harm to children and occur more often at different ages. For infants, more falls, burns, and suffocation occur. For toddlers, there are more burns, poisoning, and drowning for preschoolers, more playground equipment accidents, choking, poisoning, and drowning, and for adolescents, more automobile accidents, drowning, fires, and firearm accidents. The primary concern with infusing large volumes of fluid is circulatory overload. This is especially true in children and infants, and in clients with renal disease. Kohlberg's stages of moral development, Erickson's eight stages of development, and Piaget's phases of cognitive development. Developmental theories include Havighurst's age periods and developmental tasks, Freud's five stages of development. Failure to thrive is a term used to describe an infant who falls below the fifth percentile for weight and height on a standard measurement chart. Choking from mechanical obstruction is the leading cause of death by suffocation for infants younger than one year of age. An infant can usually chew food by seven months, hold spoon by nine months, and drink fluid from a cup by one year of age. The most adequate diet for an infant in the first six months of life is breast milk. Although microwaving food and fluids isn't recommend for infants, it's commonplace in the United States. Therefore the family should be tough to test the temperature of the food or fluid against their own skin before allowing it to be consumed by the infant. A newborn typically wets 6 to 10 diapers per day. Before feeding an infant any fluid that has been warmed, test a drop of the liquid on your own skin to prevent burning the infant. Because of circulating maternal antibodies that will decrease the immune response, the measles, mumps, and rubella MMR vaccine shouldn't be given until the infant has reached one year of age. When bottle feeding a newborn with a cleft palate, hold the infant's head in an upright position. Blood pressure in the arms and legs is essentially the same in infants. Infants born to an HIV-positive mother should receive all immunizations of schedule. An infant born to an HIV-positive mother will usually receive AZT for the first six weeks of life. Classic signs of shaken baby syndrome or seizures, slow apical pulse difficulty breathing, and retinal hemorrhage.